Hi, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. My name is Shane, the founder of MyGo. Got a very exciting package in today. It's from Chilled Tech. It's the Logic Board, uh, Chilled Tech Logic Board by Gromow. So, literally received it in the post one week after ordering, very quick delivery. And we're just about to open it and see how we go. So, here we go. So first we have the Chill Tech Logic Board, very nice, got the Grow Mouse symbol inside, aluminium plate, about four inches across, with um, lots and lots of uh, single little LEDs on it, you can see there's some different colour temperatures there as well, the phosphor different colour. Oh, there we go, what else have we got, got our Chill Tech sticker some mounting screws, thermal in interface material, so we put that in between the board and the heatsink. Quite nice to touch that. And oh yes, we got a pin fin heatsink. Very nice. All the holes pre-drilled and everything. So let's go with the assembly. Though the um, instructions are excellent, chilled tech logic, full manual, loads of detail in here. Uh, how you power the boards, uh, how you link them up in uh, for multiple boards with single drivers. Um, different wiring possibilities, uh, how to wire it, uh, mounting details, and all the ancillary bits and pieces you need inspect out. So it's an excellent manual, really well thought out. Uh, congratulations to Gromo on doing a great job there. So here we go. Okay, so you have it hung now, it's reasonably level. I'm sure you'll give out to me for it not being perfect, but it's uh, near as makes no difference. And uh, let's just calibrate it for the um, optimum hanging height first. So we're gonna use our power sensor. It's the Apogee SQ500 here. And what we're looking for is to the dead center measurement should not exceed 1000. Okay, so at this height it is 970, 980. The height from the sensor it is 28 centimeters off the canopy. That height may change when we put reflective walls in. You can see the light is getting spread very wide here. So there's a lot of white light getting thrown out wide here. And so to do the power test, I'm gonna put the two by two grow area around it and we are going to give it the standard test. So let's get it set up. So we've tested the grow mount puck in our 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter grow area. The first test was done at full power, so 2.3 amps and 48 volts to the chip, uh, to the LED, um, which is 104 watts uh, consumed at the driver. That's with the Meanwhile HLG driver. The hanging height was 28 centimeters. And we took 16 measurements, power measurements across the target grow area. The average PPFD across the 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter area was 
603. That's a total PPFD output of 217 PPFD. And dividing that by the 104 watts consumed, this unit has a efficiency of 2.07 PPFD per watt. So at the high power, it is uh, very good, very efficient, uh, particularly with reflective walls. So in the second test, we reduced the total power consumed down to just over 60 watts, 60.9 watts. That's 1.35 amps output. And we took the 16 measurements again. The total average power in this case was 365 uh, power output. Uh, sorry, average power. And the total power output is 132 PPFD. Dividing this by the wattage in this case gives us a efficiency of 2.16. So an excellent result there. Now we also tested the spectrum output from the unit using our Sensitech Passport spectroradiometer. And we, you can see here it's got a full spectrum output. So uh, probably more towards the flowering end in, ter in terms of um, the uh, colour temperature, uh, 3000K. Uh, with the peaks of um, deep red at 660 nanometers. Uh, if it was to be optimized in, in one direction, it's probably more a flowering um, uh, color temperature, but having said that, would be, would be perfectly suitable for full spectrum growth all the way from seed to flower. Aside from that, it's a really, really beautiful little light, and it's uh, super quality, it's got great instructions, if you are comfortable with doing a minimum amount of wiring and uh, you know you can um, you're, you're willing to knuckle down and do the hours to read the data sheets and the operation manuals and everything else and purchase all the stuff separately it's a very very good option we're going to stick this up in our 2x2 grow in the back there um, alongside the HLG um, the Mars Hydro Cob and our own Migro 100 just for a little grow test. So I'm going to hang on to this baby and uh, yeah, I look forward to, um, to playing with it for some time. So, hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments, please let us know below and uh, yeah, please subscribe and take care. Bye.